Hi and welcome to this demo of IWD which is a new tool set for rapidly developing iPhone web applications. Um, the, those web applications are going to look almost indistinguishable from native iPhone apps uh, but take a fraction of the time to develop. Now you're going to be able to find out a lot more about IWD from our website which is here. Um, the URL to go to is www.mgateway.com um, but in this demo I just want to give you a quick feel for how fast and simple it is to create an iPhone web app. Uh, now you don't need a Mac for IWD development. What you see here is a, a Windows XP machine and over here to the left I've got the iPhone simulator which actually is running on a Mac um, but that's just to demonstrate the running applications. Um, something that you do need for the current version of IWD is a database technology called Cache. If you go to the InterSystems website, that's at www.intersystems.com, uh, and you'll see this product known as Cache. And IWD is is uh, initially has been initially built to work uh, with that uh, database. It's a cool database. You should take a look at it anyway, even if you're not using it already. I'm running Cache on an Amazon EC2 server and I'll be accessing it from this Windows machine. So we'll just get rid of the, get that out of the way. And I'm using a product here called WinSCP, which I find particularly good for um, uh, this kind of work, accessing remote machines. But you can use anything that uh, will allow remote access and you'll need a text editor to, to develop um, the, uh, the applications. Any old text editor pretty much will do. So let's uh, start developing an iPhone application. Um, I'm going to first add a directory to the EC2 server. I'm going to do that here. Oops. Directory. I want new directory. And we're going to call this IWD demo. Now I've added it to the path USR EWD apps and I've used that path because that is uh, configured f uh, in my IWD setup as what's called my application root path. The application root path is where all your IWD application directories resi reside. So by doing this step of adding this directory I've effectively added a new application to IWD called IWD demo. So now we'll navigate into that directory and we're going to add a couple of pages. The first one we're going to call index.ewd. All the IWD application files have an extension of .ewd and it's because it's based on our what's known as our EWD technology. Okay, now I'm going to save a bit of time here by, t by pasting in the contents of this. I'll explain what it is. Every IWD page always has an EWD config tag at the top. You'll see that it's all XML tags or XML like tags. Um, every page needs this guy, the EWD config tag. This this attribute here is first page is true. Um, denotes this page as being the first page of the application, the one that will start the, the whole ball rolling. And this attribute, cache page equals false. Uh, just tells EWD to add some HTTP headers to prevent Safari from uh, u using a cached instance of the of the application. Then the only other thing in this app, uh, this page is this IWD main tag, which uh, will actually build the main container page of HTML. And we just define a few things like the title, uh, where the first content is going to come from. It's going to come from a page we haven't yet written called Hello World. And then it's got a couple of other things. It's got something known as a touch icon, which uh, you'll see, uh, you'll understand when, when we start the application up. We're going to add gloss to that icon, and we're going to have a startup image, which again, you'll see a bit later. Um, and that's the path for it. And that's it. That's, that's all that's in that file. So we'll save that. Here it is over here, and now we'll add a new file, which is that other file we referenced in the index file called hello world.ewd. It's case sensitive, um, and we're going to add this stuff to this page. 
Uh, it also has this EWD config tag, but this now is 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 the uh, what this tag looks like for every other uh, what's known as fragment that you'll create. Is first page is false, so it isn't a first page, and page type is AJAX because it's a fragment of markup that will get injected into the main page using AJAX techniques. So you'll become very familiar with this this tag at the top of each page. Uh, then this you'll see the effect of this when we run the application, but it's creating a um, uh, a, a block, um, which is a white uh, a white rectangle. You'll see called a page item. We're putting a header in there that says hello world, and we're putting some text inside the uh, the block as well. So let's save that. Here it is saved, and now we'll convert those pages into a running application. We do that uh, using the EWD compiler. Here I'm using a putty session to connect to the remote EC2 machine and I've gone into the terminal uh, cache terminal session and I'm running in the user namespace which is where I need to be for um, my weblink configuration. And I'm going to compile these pages by typing do compile all Borrow percent C E W D API and the name of the application IWD demo two commas and then in quotes WL because I'm doing it to weblink it would be CSP if you were doing it to CSP. That looks like it's compiled okay. You should get something like this. And now we'll go over to the iPhone and we'll start up Safari. Now the URL that you need to start up um, uh, an IWD application depends on the technology you've used because I've used Weblink, it's a bit of a long winded URL and I'm going to paste that in I should be able to do that I think by doing that, yep and if I now hit return on that there we are, there's our IWD application um, and if we look over here and here we are at our page item, hello world, isn't IWD cool? And that's how it's displayed. And this header has come from this title here in our index page, IWD demo. Now that's running in Safari. Um, it's, it's not got the URL location window at the top, but it does have this um, Safari bottom toolbar down here. And really we don't want that and we also don't want to have to keep typing in that huge long URL to rerun the application each time. So here's what we do, we just click that plus sign and that brings up this menu. We click add to home screen. Now do you remember that touch icon over here? Touch icon is this guy. That's now displaying that and we've added gloss to it so it's got this shiny appearance to it. It's used the same title IWD demo and we're now going to click add to add it to the home page and there it is and just like a native app we've now got an icon that we can use to start up this application uh, instead of going through Safari. Now when we click it you'll find it brings up a splash screen that was defined by this guy here startup images that guy whoops go over there again. This startup image, that was that file. And now it's running the application and now you see that it's running absolutely full screen. There's no sign of Safari at all. And this, hopefully you'll see, looks very much like a um, an iPhone application. Now it's not doing very much at the moment. Um, that's got the ball rolling. In the next video we'll start to beef this up and uh, add a few bits and pieces to it that'll start to make it look like a proper iPhone application. Okay, see you in the next video.